time. Time is very important for every one of us. It is more precious than money. A machine called clock or watch tells us the time. We measure the time in hours and minutes. Look at the picture. It is the picture of clock. This is called dial or face of a clock. We divide the time into 12 divisions around the clock. Each division is known for 5 minutes. Time will be located with two hands on the dial. Long hand shows the minutes and short hand shows the hours. It is said that one hour has 60 minutes. So, if the long hand moves from 12 to 1, it means 5 minutes are over. If it takes a complete round of the clock, it is 60 minutes so that it is told as 1 hour. The short hand is meant for hours. Look at the picture for clear understanding. The long hand shows the number 12 and the short hand shows at the number 3. When the long hand is at 12, the minutes are 0. So we say it is exactly 3 o'clock. It should be said as 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock and so on. Other units of time. As we know that to complete one hour we need 60 minutes and to complete one day we need 24 hours. To complete one week it becomes 7 days. To get one month we need 4 weeks. To complete a year we need 12 months. So these days, weeks, months and years are also called the unit of time. Day. What is a day? The duration of time from sunrise to the next sunrise is called a day. A day is divided into 24 hours. From sunrise to sunset is called as daytime. And from sunset to the next sunrise is called the night time. Week. Seven days make a week. The first day of week is called Sunday. The second day of week is called Monday. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. After Saturday, Sunday begins again and so on. Month. Four weeks make a